One of the main things you're going to need to do is to be able to take your displacement time graph or your DT graph with a pre-given shape like this and you need to determine what's happening in each segment. Now, for segments we usually consider from here to here to be a segment. Anytime you have a, a, a line, okay, so this is one segment, this from here to here is one segment, one segment, one segment. So we'd have one, two, three, four. Sometimes people split this and this is a segment. That's just making yourself more work. This line here, your timeline, doesn't actually split any segments up. Okay, so that's what we're doing. We're looking at our shapes here. So to DT graph, so you just have to remember what certain things do in a DT graph. Horizontal line means that it's stopped. So that's what's happening here. And specifically, this is stopped in the positive uh, direction. So somewhere to the positive side of your point of reference is where this thing is stopped. And it's stopped for a certain time frame. You could always look at that if I gave you a time frame. Now what happens is this thing undergoes some negative velocity, or it has negative velocity. So let's write that in. Negative velocity. And it has a pretty steep negative velocity. That's pretty fast actually. So your negative velocity, it passes by this line, which is its point of reference. So it started to the positive side of your point of reference, and it's going in a negative velocity until it gets to your point of reference and then passes it. So this negative velocity extends all the way down to here, which, again, is stopped. This time it's stopped in the negative displacement side. And then from your stop there, you get positive velocity. And this positive velocity goes back up to your point of reference. So if we were to going to explain this in terms of John Taylor, you would say, this is John Taylor. Right there, that's your point of reference. So you're in the positive direction. So you're at uh, where Max is, whatever that street by the, the Max is called, by the car dealership. You're stopped there. Then you're driving towards John Taylor with your cruise control on. You pass by John Taylor. You go right to that flying pizza. You stop there. You go get yourself some pizza while it's stopped. And then you drive back towards John Taylor. And you get to John Taylor and you pull into the parking lot do whatever, eat your pizza. There you go. That's your general graph for a DT situation.